Okay. Shalom. Shalom. We're back with another sit down, man. And, uh, you know, just, we just want to give all praises and infinite honors unto our Heavenly Father and His Son. And they go by the name of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekakwadash. Of course, man, we putting a lot of love and, 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 and spirit and faith within these videos, man, just to edify all the Akim throughout the four corners pushing this work, man. And of course, we want to give double honor to the Elder Apostle Great Millstone and say it takes to all you brothers, man, that do the same, man, consistently, man, on a daily basis, man, and go out there to them highways and byways and pronounce this word, you know. But uh, with this lesson, man, we just want to speak on love, man, you know, because a lot of people, they're not educated on the love of the Heavenly Father, man. A lot of people have this understanding that love comes from this emotional place inside of you, man. But the Heavenly Father has a prescribed understanding of what love is in the Bible, man. You know? And we're going to first start off with that uh, John, John 14, bro. If I could say real quick. Oh, wait I think it's in Proverbs. It says, uh, uh, there's nothing more wicked than man's heart. Huh? And your heart is your mind. And that's where your emotions come from. So it, you can't... I got an early one for you since right. you bring that up. But go ahead, I'll go ahead make your point. Kind of. I'm going to just try to pull it up. Oh, I got one real fast for you. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. You know, and it was going back into what the brother was saying, man. Like, because honestly, man, I, the Heavenly Father said our uh, righteousness is as wicked as, as, as filthy rags, man. So you have to understand that a lot of people don't have the proper understanding of these scriptures, you know? So once you start reading it, you start to understand the scriptures more, and you start not to lean on the understanding that the world has taught you, but that the Heavenly Father has uh, prescribed for the people, man, for the Israelites, you know? Yeah. Okay. brother got one. Okay. This is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart, which is your mind, is deceitful above all things right. and desperately wicked, who can know it? And, and we all know that the Heavenly Father knows every person's heart, man. He know if you're wicked or not. He know if you're leaning on your own understanding or not. He know when you say, I love the Lord. He know if it's mouth service or you really giving uh, praise to the Heavenly Father through, your, uh, through, through prayers, through fasting, through the works. Most importantly, through the works, man. Through the brotherhood. If I could say, and uh, most people go off their emotions... And what they think love is, oh, I like this or I don't like that. But Esau Edom is a high-level witch and yeah. warlock, yeah. so they know how to manipulate your mind and your emotions. Right. So you don't even know what true love is if you're not, if the Most High is not dealing with you. You don't even know what your own mind's thinking right. because you're manipulated by the media and whatever Esau tells you is good and bad. And we know that the wisdom of this world is vanity, according That's to the scriptures. God. Right, man. And if I can say this, man, they got these guys out here that profess. Go ahead, get in the little Thank bit, you. Bro. My bad. Okay. They got these guys out here that profess and be like, oh, I'm left brain, oh, I'm right brain, mm -hmm. but. They're not realizing that the most high he controls your entire cranium, man, your thoughts, the way you think certain things, the way you utter certain things in your mind, because you, there's an inward man and there's an outward man. And mm -hmm. inward man, the most high is depicting your thoughts and making them come into fruition right. in front of the holy angels. So they got the other side of you that people don't see. So you got to move it according to this doctrine and according to vibration that's right. by Shem Yom and, and that's how you figure out what love is. And we're going to go into some scriptures that better yet go in depth to what love is. Go ahead, give me that, bro. All right. This is the um, book of John, chapter 14. We start at verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. You ready, out? Go ahead. And whatsoever, it's your red letters, it's Yahweh shall speaking. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. That will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Okay. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Right. If ye love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. And just to give an understanding of that, who has the commandments of the Lord, man? Israelites. So he's only directing that to one people. Just to give clarification to that, man. The Heavenly Father said, if ye love me, keep my commandments. So he's telling the Israelites... If ye love me, keep my commandments. He didn't say, if ye love me, uh, 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 just tell me. He said, if you love me, do something about it, man. The Lord wants you to uh, show him your works, man. He don't want you to just tell him, oh yeah, Lord, I didn't eat pork today. But you did. Hey, uh, 
there's a song called uh, Tell Me Lies, Tell Me Sweet Little Lies. Uh -huh. So a lot of you people that rely on that outward man and only give lip service to the most high do. That's right. To try to tell him sweet little lies like he's a like he's a trick or something. Yeah. Like a lot of these women that say, oh the Lord is my husband. But you don't do nothing to Heavenly Father say. You a terrible wife. If that's the case. <laughs> that's right. You got more than that? That was it up. Okay, go ahead. This is first John well, three. Well matter of fact, let me go ahead and get this, then we're gonna bring this up. Uh Mark Mark 3 and 32. I'm going to start with 32. But I'm going to start with uh, 33. It said, and he answered them saying, who is my my mother? Because the law has specifics on who takes this word serious and who don't, man. You know? He have a, he have a brotherhood, man. He have an understanding. He have, he have men that take this word serious and that shows love according to this word, man. You know, I mean that that we all stand in the same will, you know, and it says, and he answered them and said, "Who is my mother, my brother?" And he looked around about on them, which set up about, I mean, yeah, about him, and said, "Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of Yahweh, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother, man." So that's who we take serious in this thing, man. That's who we love. Right. Now we have a uh, uh, carnal love for our mothers, our brothers and our sisters, but if they're not doing the work to the other Lord, that's not true love, man. That's that's just carnal love, man. You know? Right, and if I can say this, I, if it, if it wasn't if it was for if it was up to some of our mothers and fathers, we would have never received this truth, man. Because in family in the in the world, they, they they didn't teach us to keep these laws. Our, our brothers did, man. Our brothers help us to tarry, I mean, help us to um, endure in this thing. Mm -hmm. If it was for some of our moms, we wouldn't have beers on our faces, man. Yep. That's that's what your corner family wants you to abide by. Oh, oh, go out, get a good job, cut your beard off um, so you can fit in this, uh, an Esau society, man. That's right. But we have good brothers that deliver this word with a mouthpiece of the most high, man. So we, if we do fall in this thing, we'll get up, man. That's right, man. That's true love right there, man. True love is showing your actions to the Heavenly Father, man. And the men that we see the actions from are our Akim, man. You know? Bearing that cross. Bearing that Not cross. Not taking your hand off the plow and looking back at your house That's a fact. to go take care of your loved ones. What Yahweh Shai say? Forget yeah. about it. That's right, man. That's right. Clear it out. This is uh, 1 John 3 and 11. Mm -hmm. For this is the message that she heard from the beginning that we should love one another, not as Cain. Who was of that wicked one and right. slew his brother right and wherefore he, slew if i could say see cain was he had nothing he was nothing but mouth service man a carnal man he was a carnal man talking about some i i uh, uh i don't know where my brother is but the whole time you slew him man going off on the commandments as well he brought up the wrong sacrifice yeah, he brought up the wrong sacrifice yeah yeah go ahead cain's a bitch cain's so a bitch. is his progeny that's right not as cain <laughs> Who is Salakia? Yeah. Not as Cain, who is of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him, mm -hmm. because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. And if I could say real go ahead, quick, go ahead, go ahead. that cut you Edomites that try to bring up Deuteronomy twenty three and seven yeah. about that poor Edomite. Yeah. Not only is that a clerical error because it's supposed to read a Syrian, so Syrian yeah. but how are we supposed to love you when you're not loving? You're not showing love to Jake. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't even understand how people could come up with that scripture. Especially at the transatlantic slave trade, are you? Are we really talking about the love of Esau? Especially after some Edomites went to an elementary school and had their students out picking cotton during Black History Month, having them see, say like, "Oh, it's fun picking cotton and stuff like that," showing that they had that perpetual I hatred. Got, I got something for you, real fast. That's just fast. a little tangent. I got something <laughs> for you, real fast. I got one too. Right? Let me go ahead and bring this one out, just for the brother. It says, "Uh." It says Romans Romans thirteen and eleven, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau, you, you don't, you're not a, a, a upright man whatsoever, man. Honestly, like I say in Habakkuk, your soul is uh not upright, not upright, man. You know, and at the same time, 
love worketh no ill towards his neighbor. We're, we're, what's the whole uh, topic of this lesson? To love your brother. How do you love your brother? By, te by teaching him the scriptures and by living by yeah. it. And, Esau and dealing with him accordingly yeah. to the scriptures. And Esau don't teach you the scriptures to save his life, man. Honestly, Esau is trying to save his ass by not teaching us the scriptures, man. But it ain't going to work, Esau. Because the Heavenly Father guided his men back to this knowledge, back to the understanding, and they got men that's constantly teaching men these, this knowledge, man. To show each other what love is according to the scriptures, man. And not afraid to, man. Not afraid to wear your beard. Not afraid not to get lineups, man. Not afraid to go out there to them highways and byways, man. And look you in your face and all the Negroes that don't uh, uh, care about this truth and condemn you, man. That's love according to, you know, um, it's a such thing as good and bad people, man. To this society, we looked at as bad people, man, unloving people. As the devil. That's right. right. But when you Stone. look at, but when you come inside of this circle, man, it's so much love, man. Men willing to God. die for each other. You're damn right. How much can you say that about your, your, your people in the world? That's right. Once they come at them with that chip, that Russian soldier sticking an AK-47 to their head, we'll see how much they love you. That's a fact. God. Go ahead and give me a uh, day more on that. Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. And go ahead and give me uh, John, John, John 2. No, 2. 2 John 1 and 6. All right, I got one too. Uh, oh, right, this right. is just verse 13. Marvel not, my brethren, no, if the world hate you. you. Kind of, marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death unto life yep. because we love the brethren. Hey, the scriptures say marvel not if the world hate us, man. Like I was just saying, man, we looked at as the bad guys, man. And that's fine, because inside our circle, we all know we good guys, man. We all know we're going to be the ones that overcome in the last, man. Regardless of how the world look at us, man. They can say that we, because a lot of people coin us what we're a hate group. Well, shit, I feel, this how I feel. We're the most loved in this group on the planet Earth, man. Because we want to see the water, we want to see uh, 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 animals get free from zoos, man. We want to see uh, 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 clean water, clean water, man. No right. pedophiles. No pedophilia, man. No, no transgenders. That's right, women walking around holding come hands on, with man. The that, women. That's true love, right there, man. You know, men to run their household in righteousness, man. Not be lorded over by a woman that that will scare you to put you on child support and shit, man. Nigga, you better get right. Like, what type of life is that, man? <laughs> oh, you can hear it before she coming, man. Just something simple as a woman being humble, man. Shame face, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it says in uh, Sirach that a contentious woman makes a man's knees weak. <laughs> yes. He gonna be ashamed in the city. I got one out. Did you want me to keep it? Yeah, go ahead. When you done. We know this, that we have passed from death unto life. Because we love the brethren, he that loveth not his brother abideth in death. That's right. That's Whoso right, my son. Go ahead. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, mm -hmm. and you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. That's right, man. So ain't no such thing as us working ill will amongst each other, man. Because we know the Heavenly Father, the penalty with that, man, is, is consequences, man. Stripes. The Heavenly Father said, if you know his will and you don't abide by it, that's stripes, man. Many. <laughs> the Lord didn't just say you're going to get stripes. He said you're going to get many, man. Many with many stripes. That's right, man. man. So, you know, you, you don't, you, you, you make sure when you're a part of this body, you take care of it, man. And as I said, a murderer hath he, it's like it, and you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. And Cain was a murderer from the beginning. That's right. That cuts Deuteronomy 23 and 7 that's again. That's right. Hereby, perceive we the love of the Most High because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. And that's a fact right there, man. That's a fact right there, man. You know, we, we should be able to, to uh, 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 when we go out there to them highways and byways, we should be able to die for one another, man, if need be, man. You know? That's, that's a commitment right there, man. You know? God. Yeah, I'm on that. You want to go to... Where you at? I'm at a 17. Yeah, go ahead, read 17. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of the Most High in him? That's right, man. So if you if you 
looking on your brother and know he need of course if you don't have it you don't have it man but if you got it and you just being a downright nigga Come on, man. The Heavenly Father don't see fit for you, man. Yeah, I actually like it. The scriptures even tell you, man, defer not to pay a man what you have that day. So if you if you looking on at a brother and he's struggling, he's going through certain things, maybe might be financially, and you got the money in your pocket, that day, man, you could you could afford to help the yeah. brother out, man. The most how bless you with the same finance that you put out for that brother tenfold. That's right, man. man. That's brother. what you Jakes yeah. don't realize, man. Two-third love is deadly, man. It, it, Stay it, it, away man. from these two-thirds, man. That's a fact, man. Stay away from two-thirds, man. Two-thirds will, man, that spirit is, 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 that spirit is all about darkness and death, man. That's why they call itself black. You got something, bro? Got, yeah, I got one. Um, Go on. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 16. Uh, Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. That's right, man. You know, it's better to be loved, man, than to be out here starving, man. You know, putting that energy into loving your brother, man, is better than, than, than out here hungry, man, for love, man. Because honestly, man, what does it look like a brother getting kicked out of this truth, man? Where you going to find that love at, man? That real love at, man? That real bond at, man? When men want to see what's going on with you when you call them they're not just asking you for nothing you know brothers don't just ask brothers for nothing man brothers see how each other doing what's going on with you is everything all right and if they need something they will ask but it ain't no everyday kind of brother 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 i need this i need that no what's up what's going on with you bro how you feeling today bro you know all all those different things man you know, putting in effort to show your brother, hey man, this ain't just no no situation we're a part of, man. This is real love that we have for one another, man. You know? But uh that was it on that I? Yeah, that was it I. Go ahead and give me that one I told you to get uh what that was, John Second John one and six. Yeah, second John one and six. Set the book of uh Second John chapter one verse six, and this is love that we walk after this commandment. His commandment, Salakia, this is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. Hey, Amen. It's just the facts, man. We got the commandments. The Heavenly Father has, has given us the understanding. We walk after it, man. And we teach men so. Go ahead, I. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh. That's right. That's right, man. And that's how we can clearly see. Who uh who uh is opposed, man? Who the uh the opposition is, man? By this word, man. By keeping the commandments. When they look down on you for that, man, we have a full, clear view of who the opposition is, man. Oh, you're wrong for that. Or you wrong for this. Or you don't eat pork. Or you don't go to church. Or you don't uh pay tithes to pastor. You know. Or you keeping your bid. Hey, you're opposition, man. I don't deal with you, man. But I do know who to deal with, man. My brethren. That was it on that, huh? Yeah. Good, huh? This is a First John 5 and 3. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. It's not grievous, man. The Heavenly Father is not playing with, with His commandments, man. That's the reason why, and this goes for the brothers that's in the truth, man. If you're not doing what the Lord say do, man, you better get your, you better get your mind right, man. And that goes for any of us, man. Any man that's looking at this, man, get your mind right, man. Because the Heavenly Father's not playing. If you're lacking in videos, if you're lacking in reading, if you're lacking in uh, uh, fasting, praying, get your mind right, man. And always make sure you're on time for the brotherhood, man. Actually put effort into what it is that you, that you claim you take serious, man. If you say you love it, Show it. Go ahead. Keep going. You got more on that? That's about it. That was it. All right. Oh, I got one. Oh. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 13 and, I mean, 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of men, man. And, and that's the most important thing, you know? 
Go ahead. Huh? This is Romans 12, chapter 9. Mm -hmm. It's like it, 12 and 9. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. And that's a fact, man. Be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. That's right, man. You know, and uh, tonight we have a conference tonight. You know, and brothers finna what? Show love in there, man. Through what? The scriptures. Helping brothers understand this word, man. You know? Not mad about it, not upset about it. Just doing it, man. Doing it because they know that the Heavenly Father loved them. So you know what we gonna do? We gonna love the brothers, man. If the Heavenly Father, if the Heavenly Father allowed His Son to die for us, what are we for? The, what are we to do for the men that's coming in this thing, man? We gotta sacrifice ourselves for them. Show them how much this thing is important, man. Put time, effort, care, respect, diligence into this work, man. Love, man, into this work. You know, so you know, I'll probably got anything out. That's it. All right, man. With that, man, we want to give all praise and infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, the salutations to all you Akim, man. Keep pushing this work in truth and sincerity, man. Shalom. Shalom.